Tetris time. They got a new theme. You know, I think the editors haven't had to watch nearly enough Tetris. I think it's Tetris time. Uh oh, I might die here. It's just coming still. It's an onslaught, I guess. I am gonna be zucked. Please, no. I never win. I never win these stupid f***ing games. How am I supposed to win ever? I hit up some uncleared levels. See what that brings about through the day. The goal is to find levels that no one has ever cleared before, but are still considered expert levels. Undoubtedly finding the garbage that exists in the world of Mario Maker. Before I get into all that, I want to show you guys. You guys remember when we were selling these? Aren't these cool? Because we're doing it again, and this time, every side is a different face. So, I mean, if you want a six-sided dickhead, uh, there are a limited time, for sure. They just started today. They'll be available for like 10 days, and then uh, we probably won't sell them again. Maybe in the future we sell a different edition of it, but this is uh, about as simple flips collector as it gets. Um, check out the link in the top of the description, plus uh, the proceeds we get helps fund the channel. Especially now that uh, I don't be streaming on Twitch all that much lately to try and provide better content more consistently. If you order one, it might take a bit for delivery, but I promise you these things are super cool to own. Spirit Temple, Young Link. Okay, it's been played 50 times and has not gotten a clear yet. I can't imagine it's that hard. My timer was open, but I had crashed. Oh, for a second I was like, yep, can't run. <laughs> I can't imagine that this level is so hard. I mean, it's a Zelda level, like how hard can it be? I'm in the first area. I gotta light the two torches. Is there comments on this level? I did not mean to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna wanna go right room first and light the torch, that'll bring the bridge down. Can't go right room first, unless this is right room. Why the garbage orientation? No, wait, what? <laughs> that's the main statue lady. Oh, that's the shortcut, I haven't unlocked it yet. Now I have to go right first. I honestly think this, this should be possible to cheese. Eh, maybe not. Is there anything down here? Ah, well, there's a giant pit, which is uh, what's down there in the actual spirit temple. Alright, someone is commenting saying how. I'm commenting and saying why not. I. What about this is how? Granted, I suck balls. But what about this is how? <laughs> How am I supposed to not suck balls? I understand the comment now. It's like, how did how did you do this? How how did you not suck like I, like I do? Um. Yeah, I'm up there. How did I do it? I hit the only threat in the whole world. Oh, now I understand the how question. Uh. Okay. Do you throw a bone? Does that interact? I don't think it does. Are you a bone throwing dude? Yeah, I don't actually know. I do know, I know exactly what to do. I'm smarter than the how question. All right, you guys gotta give me a little bit of credit or a, a little bit of a break rather, cause I know that this isn't hard and I know it's probably a bit obvious to some of you. Like maybe that super jump shit in uppies was, or in walkies was obvious to you. That's what the reset door is for. Light the switch. Um, hmm. I don't know exactly where the thing is. I have to assume it's in the wall somewhere, though. That might be good. How far off am I? I'm hella far off. What am I talking about? I guess I should be hitting it from this side. That might. Yes, dude. Just like in Funny Spirit Temple. Huh. Really? You fucking bitch. I wasn't supposed to come down here. Kind of neat that this is a troll level. Also kind of neat that I didn't lose my power up. Okay. All right. Don't, uh, don't do anything but that unless you want a big disappointment in your life. I blew up the wall, so now I should be able to shoot it with an arrow. Normal bombs will pick up keys and stuff, but I don't think Lynx does. Hello! I'm solving part of the puzzle. Now I should be climbing a vine. What the fuck is this? Yeah, I remember that room. Wait, I think that'll blow up the wall, right? For the switch, I mean. I'm ready to go. I'm in the giant statue area. I feel like I've missed some spirit temple steps, but I do I do appreciate what's going on here. 
More of this shit, really. Okay, so I have to start the puzzle with it off because the Goomba won't spawn without it. Okay, I think I want to weigh it down as much as I can so that the Goomba won't die. I just want the Goomba to live. Live, Goomba. Fuck. I think what's supposed to happen at the beginning is the Goomba weighs it down. Oops, I got cooked. The Goomba weighs it down, I could throw a bomb in here probably. Yep, I know how to throw bombs. And is this killing the Goomba? Probably. Uh, that's not very good. Go, go, go. Maybe that's not it. I mean, I could just do this. I don't want to blow up the block, though. Okay. I'll go back and get another one. Can I go back and get another one, or did I zuck? Oh no, I've hit the zuck. The zuck app at random. Did you see the tits on that thing? There was a lot I could have done. Alright, well, let's see what's in here, at least. That releases the bomb. I... Oh no! Wow! I bet no fucking moron has ever softlocked like this before. Revolutionary bullshit. You know why no one's ever softlocked before? Because no one's ever fucked the puzzle up this badly. Also, his name is Zelda Oot, which makes me think, if I'm playing Spirit Temple, he's probably done the other temples first. There's probably some cool shit. There's probably like all the dungeons and stuff, maybe even parts of Hyrule, who knows? Maybe I should check it out. Right, I need to, need to not be such an idiot on this puzzle though. Okay, now you can move on over there. And then I bounce this. And now I just have to free the bomb and it would just land up there and explode in the right spot. Hmm. I could cheese it a little bit. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna try and tie my bomb explosion through. Kinda like that, but for the other block. Oh! No! I had solved the whole thing! <laughs> I feel like the way I'm trying to blow this up is wrong. No! Fuck you! <laughs> it's like a landmine over here. Everything I touch causes error. The issue is if I lose my Link suit, I don't get another one. There's not like a reset thing for it. I'm very afraid of the timing of this. Got it! Okay, so now I have this done. I'm maybe not doing it exactly the right way, but first, bounce this guy up. And then try and get that thing. I suck! There we go, finally, jeez. Okay, and then we... Nudge that guy. Do that. Let him get over there. I come over here. He drops. I let this guy free. I gotta bounce him up. Didn't, didn't think about that step. Come over here, he gets dropped. That's not how I thought it would work, but good enough. I didn't need to bounce the Goomba up at all. I think the Goomba was just to help me blow up those blocks. Okay, I did it wrong. I don't know why I thought I needed the Goomba to go there. Wait, hold on, I'm dumb as fuck. I've been playing a puzzle. You think I'm ready for anything action? Okay, this isn't very action-y, but I, I was a bit startled. I don't know what moves I have that work against this guy up there. I could probably shoot him with arrows. I'm a little bit afraid though, because I don't want to I don't want to do the spirit temple again. And I'm really bad at the link outfit controls. Uh oh. <laughs> Ugh. Why can't I get him, dude? I'm so bad. No! I'm literally gonna game over to this. I what what am I doing? Can we not show this footage? I'm I'm still warming up. Can we like can we omit how terrible that was? Alright. This time I won't be afraid. I just was, didn't want to solve the puzzle again. That fear really got to me. It does not make this easy though. Also, fear or no fear, I think this might have been a mistake. Dude, come on! You're not gonna you're not gonna respect my personal space. You're just gonna enter my bubble like that. Hey, right. this room's easy as fuck now that I have a brain. I hope this isn't a survival section. I'm just stupid. I I can't. I don't know what attacks to use. Okay, I think I see kind of what I need to do. Like, if I'm jumping up against that wall and doing shots, it should be easy. Just right-facing shots. Fuck, I still hit that. No, I lost my power-up as well. It's not as hard as I'm making it out to be, right? 
Oh, maybe I don't need to jump. I need to jump. It's fucking impossible otherwise. I'm so bad at this. It's just hard to dodge him at that point, too. I'm like clueless. I'm just trying so hard to survive. This is why no one's beaten it. It's not like the puzzles are fucking hard. This is, this is an insane room. <laughs> Maybe there's some stuff I don't know about Link. What if I, can I nudge him off of these? Oh, that makes it so much easier. Are you fucking kidding me? That's gonna cr crush kill him. This is a joke. I can, I'm gonna cheese the fuck out of him. I think this is what you were supposed to do the entire time. I'm sorry I made it look so hard. I was doing it wrong. <laughs> it, okay, that makes me feel, that makes me feel a lot less stupid because I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't picture mentally how to get an arrow through there safely. I'll take that clear. Give me the orb. This guy deleted his level while I was playing it. Are you kidding me? I beat your level, sir. I wanted to check out that guy's profile and now there's like no record of him existing. <laughs> I'm going back. I gotta find that man. I, I can't, he can't escape me like this. He's gone, dude. I wanted to look at his account. Oh man. Why did he delete it? Was there cheese? There must've been cheese because I just did every room 14 different ways. Maybe he thought the boss fight was like, he was like, mm, this is bullshit. I'm gonna keep an eye out and see if that guy uploads his level again today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on the lookout. Green Mario Luigi goes to Tesco, by the way. Let's not detract from what is probably an incredible level just because I got zucked. Oh, that is how you jump. Thank you, Nintendo. Boo! Damn. Harsh critics on a level that just came out. I want to go to Tesco. Hold on. What? Is this some weird trick? Yeah, the, the trick is that I'm playing the level you pulled me in. Good trick. All right, get in my car. Get, got my car keys. I'm off on my journey to Tesco. Let me Google Tesco. Let me make sure I'm allowed to say this word. Is Tesco racism? Nope, it's just a supermarket as far as I can tell. We're in the clear. I don't like how close to the right side of the screen I'm getting. Those blocks could definitely crush you. Okay. I think these are other cars. I'm not sure. Yeah, because these are windows, right? Cheese gang. Cheese gang. Did these doors lead to each other? What? I joined cheese squad not knowing that I didn't cheese shit. What an idiot. This level has no clears. You didn't cheese anything. He didn't beat the level yet. That bomb's gonna explode, giving me a buff lock. Hmm. Well, I wonder why people hadn't uh, hadn't quite yet beaten this one. Do you think maybe because there's a 14-minute cutscene leading into a very stupid soft lock? I guess I'm down to waste my time. I'm down to waste even more time. You guys ever uh, seen that movie that, about that high school boy who like turns into a wolverine and shit whenever there's a full moon and he, he like surfs on the ice cream truck or something or maybe it's just some sort of truck? Oh, there's one way there. I'm stupid. Anyways, that was my dream. I believe that movie is called X-Men. Oh, things falling on, off of rails don't crush you. Interesting. Cheese gang. The kind of cheese that doesn't do anything. They're selling Goombas. Dude, I was afraid that looking left would kill me because why else would those be on off switches? Okay, I just saw a manager get fired. No joke, also. I'm gonna kill the boss. Oh, the star doesn't come back. Bummer. Okay, well, I'm a little bit more afraid now. I saw what you did to that employee of the month, bitch ass. Oi! Oi, 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 Okay. Well, I got a power up there. Um, I actually thought he wouldn't generate- Oh my god, look at this. Look at this fucking Tesco visit. I also thought he wouldn't generate any flames if there were still flames on screen. That's where I was wrong. I should have known that. If I wait here for a mushroom, I will get one. 
Also, that mushroom could be progressive. You never know. Could be two. Could be like a a, a fire flower or something. What the fuck is in here? Dickhead. Cheese gang. Even though there's a block to get up there. Uh oh. This might be some real cheese gang shit. Real cheese gang hours. I can nearly grab that. I'm a little bit afraid, but I can nearly get that. I have to go up there and like meet it if I can. I can't. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this without a mushroom. But with the mushroom, I could definitely do it. With the mushroom, I can. I can get. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is. I know exactly how I'm gonna do this. Yep. I may be someone who's driven to Tesco about 10, 15 times today so far, but that doesn't mean I'm not about to get shit popping off on my daily commute. Except it's the commute I've done 30 times today. Well, since I'm still on my way to Tesco and it takes forever, I'm gonna share some cool news with you guys. Which isn't news if you follow me on Twitter, because I tweet dumb shit. But sometimes I tweet less dumb shit, and it's kind of like a little bit more significant than my average dumb tweet. Point being, I have hit a significant milestone in my weight loss. I know, some of you guys are like, what? He's never talked about this before. He He's on a diet? You don't even, you guys don't even know. And, uh, yeah, like... I've lost uh, well over 40 pounds and am under 300. The journey continues. And now I feel less uh, embarrassed talking about it knowing that I probably won't give up. But there's something I share with you guys because sometimes I feel like none of you guys know who I am or anything about me. And now that's something you know about me. Nice. Landing on the side of him is... So much more effective. Kinda wish I hadn't grabbed the fire flower when I did. Alright, back to my car! Oh my god, the Tesco demon is chasing me! John Tesco, let me go! You... You fucking... You bitch! You bitch! What? Um, I don't even... Um, I don't even know what I was supposed to do... Is it because I was big? Is it because John Tesco showed me his big throbbing rod and fired it at me? You've... I've... Um, uh, I was watching... I was not watching anything actually, I just wasn't paying attention. Fucking John Tesco. No, 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 don't kill me, don't off-screen me, I was typing that Nolan, fuck. Yeah, I was already telling Nolan my idea for the title of this video, that's just how big brain I am. You- I mean, that's gonna be fine. I realistically, at the end of the day, keeping this mushroom is gonna be enough to get me to the fire flower. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't get a good hit. Alright, I just gotta survive until the fire flower comes around, because then I can pick it up and use it. Cheese or no cheese when it comes to getting this feather? I'm sick of goddamn driving to Tesco! Minor abrasion happening on the way to Tesco this morning. An eyewitness quoted saying, he just fucking died. More on this uh, at 11. You're listening to 104.5. Tesco out. Dude, it happened again! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't believe it happened again. I wasn't fucking paying attention. I was radio DJing. <laughs> I like don't know what to do anymore. I'm so afraid of the thing. Do I just go to the front of the car or like what's my what's what is my motivation to not get crushed every time I go to fucking Tesco? Yes, Tesco seems like a shit place to be by the way. Why anyone would want to be here and be on me. Please don't crush me or my pussy for that matter. I keep jumping over when he's goddamn LeBron James over my head dunking on me every single day. Like, who's taking care of my farm? Sorry, there's something dumb about me. Alright, can I not get in a fucking terrible car accident going back home from Tesco? Please? You... Mmm. You know what it is, because I'm big. Big men don't drive tiny fucking turbo cars. <laughs> this car's not rated for someone my size. You guys ever watch me play Mario Maker and think, How? How in the world is this the same guy that did that 
two hour BLJ shit. How in the world can this be someone operating on a similar skill plane? That can't be the same person. Is he okay? <laughs> I will say though, what was great about that two hour BLJ shit was the story and the cheese. And maybe I suck balls at controlling in 2D games, but I at the very least found the cheese, you know, at least I'm consistent that way. I think some of you guys give me too much credit when it comes to 2D stuff because like that Skell Attack game video I did, I honestly thought it was a sick game and stuff. And like a lot of the times I would say things like, oh my God, this is so hard or whatever. And like people thought I was mega selling out. They just don't understand that like I've never played games like Celeste or Shovel Knight or whatever. I also don't play Mario Maker that much either. But, like I'm just saying these things are hard because I believe that they're hard. <laughs> And you guys give me too much credit because I'm- I, I am sick as fuck at some games, it's just not these ones. Yes! This is the ultimate heist! This is what you're supposed to do! This is why no one's beaten it, dude. This has actually gotta be intended. Break out a dumb fuck mountain. Yeah, crush me now, dipshit! It's like that movie! That one movie! <laughs> I finally got to live out my dream! Yeah, give me the win. I love X-Men. Great franchise. Love the scene where you surf on the thing. Bars. And now we will roll the dice. It landed on bogs. That's crazy that I'm I'm just capable of rolling the dice like that. And that's because uh, they're available for sale right now. 10 days. You'll likely never get one unless you get it soon. We're looking for that dude. He did not re-upload his level. Man. I mean, I guess it's possible that he did re-upload his level. It's not here in this queue. This is levels that have been played a little bit but not beaten. If that guy re-uploaded his levels... Man, I wish I had like... I was gonna like the level and stuff. I don't know. If someone knows this guy's maker code, just fucking give it to me because I wanted to see if he had like a Deku tree and all these other things. What if he didn't want anyone to see his level yet and he uploaded it on accident? What if he's making a whole Zelda world? Like that's why maybe I, I worry like the reason he deleted it is because he didn't want people to see it yet. Spirit Temple isn't exactly the end of Ocarina of Time. So if you're remaking Ocarina of Time and creating a super world, then perhaps, uh, why the fuck did I just click this? Then perhaps you might not uh, want people to see that. I'm I'm a, I'm just a little bummed out that I lost that creator. Koopaling Mayhem. All the Koopalings are ready, so kill you will you survey me them. Words to remember. Absolutely. Huh. True. Okay. I'm mostly interested in seeing if these pipes go anywhere. They do. At least this one does. Hmm, I don't know. I'm getting a real vibe from this level, I'm gonna be honest. Huh, okay. Okay, the survival room is actually kind of a cool one, to be honest. I expected that to hit the spring and bounce up way differently than it did, so. I'm looking for cheese because you know that this level is. Definitely on some layer of bullshit based on that first pipe, the fact that there's a power up in there. It's like, yeah, I don't want to put the star in the like, normal location. I think you gotta earn your bullshit. Why is there, excuse me, why is there so many keys in this level? Do I get to skip stuff? Is this dev or is it required? Wow. You dickhead. I got stunned out of my fire flower. I don't know, dude. There's gotta be a bunch of keys down here. Okay, now I'm a little bit more concerned about the decision I just made. Now I'm a little bit more concerned about the decision that I just made. That's what I sound like when I'm dying. Mario Maker death quotes you might not be familiar with. Please! How are you supposed to avoid a stun when you can't even tell he's about to do it? He doesn't jump in the air and give you time to react. He just stuns my pussy. I just want to keep my fire flower one day. Yep, was uh, paying attention. At least it didn't kill me. Yeah, I don't, I can't believe I'm alive either. You're not the only one that feels that way. I can't believe that was the correct choice. Let's go. No! I just opted into getting hit by that. 
These guys schmove around, dude. They schmove dash all over the place. Frame perfect schmove lands and schmove sh dashes. I'm dead. They L schmove. Fuck, I'm gonna die. <laughs> you asshole! He double jumps on top of you. <laughs> he schmoun airs you. <laughs> God damn it. I would have been fine if I didn't opt to getting hit twice by the first obstacle. And I do have to kill him. It's part of the clear condition. Unless that portrait is a different Koopaling and I'm getting tricked. I do have to fight him. Pretty sure. Nice, now I can just hold W through this because I know I get another fire flower in a second. Uh, I fucked up, didn't I? Yeah, you can tell I fucked up because there's no way to get in the pipe over there. So holding W was arguably pretty stupid. Probably not a very good idea. Arguably a decision that cost me replaying the beginning of this level again, which I don't know, could be anywhere between three and 30 minutes. I could get on the spike maze also and just like YOLO jump, but I still need the clear condition. Who knows what's up there? I might, I might check it out someday. That's right, get him when he's casting a spell. He's not gonna fucking triple jump back air. <laughs> he's not gonna reverse fair me into a knee. Like, you just you can just get him. <laughs> reverse fair into a knee is just a reverse knee into a knee, by the way. In case anyone following at home who's like, yeah, I said the same thing twice. That's because I'm a genius. Median master. That wasn't even the clear condition, so now I know in the future that when I get to that room, that would otherwise be a soft lock because you don't even get a key for beating the boss and this level's garbage, I can just go in the door because that's the wrong Koopa Kid. Is this the right one? Doesn't look like it. He has green hair. See you later, Dr. Asshole. Why did that happen? I'm going over the maze if I keep my fire flower and yellow jumping, and I think it's going to pay off. Wait, why did I think I'd be able to get over this? Was I like nearly over it and thought there was any way for me to do that? Why did I think that? I don't know why I thought that. All right, I can go straight into the door here. If I can get on this pipe, I could go over, but whatever. See you later, asshole. These were not dev keys, by the way. This was not a fast way to skip this level. This, this was a required dev thing. Huh. If I went down really quick, I would, I don't understand. I have no idea. This is not the correct Koop kit either, but he is the correct fucking threat to bring to me. I don't know why I would die to that. This level's so painfully long. You know how desperate for cheese I am? Adrian? Door? If I fall through too quickly, it doesn't hit the switch, which I need to be hit, apparently. Hmm. I guess that's just a way of guaranteeing the state of the switch. Really stupid way, but whatever. Get this ball away from me so I can get in this door. Okay, really stupid room, just terribly designed. And I knew it was gonna throw power ups at me, but it's because there was no thought put into the last room. See you, Wendy, you fucking idiot! No. Yeah, this is how you do this. <laughs> so up, over, up. Don't fall down. Got it. Go up here. No. They're on a rail though. They're gonna go somewhere to block me. I'm gonna have to damage boost through them. Maybe they're just a threat. Maybe they're not here to block me. Okay, that's the, the normal setup is that they block wherever you're supposed to go and you have to get there before them. This is not quite the uh the normal setup. Is this the one I need to fight? Nope, see you later. I don't know if that's the one I need to fight, to be honest. I hope not. Do I even want this acorn? Have I even scratched the surface of this fucking level? You ass! The acorn meant nothing. Okay. I mean, this level has turned into something so stupid. I can't even believe this is the same level. Give me that fire flower before I explode and come everywhere again. There's just power-ups everywhere. It's like, I'm, I'm dead. Okay. Whew. I'm gonna wait for that guy to come back down. I, I thought I thought I had met my, my fate. 
I might meet my fate. I'm running out of time as well in this level. How balls can you be? Please don't kill me. Please! <gasps> Did you see how close to my head that was? Give me that mushy mush. That badonkadonk. Is it you? Are you the one I'm supposed to fight? Don't know. It doesn't really look like you. You don't seem like you have the right hair. You! It's been you all along! Cinco de Mayo! The day of May. <laughs> That's not what that means. Dude, this guy's a fucking menace! <laughs> Sorry. He's going so fast. I'm dead. I'm fucked. Give me a mushroom. Please. Give me another one. Ah! A fucking menace. He's out there on the streets, bouncing up people, smashing them. Fucking undefeatable. Fucking no one can penetrate his force. <laughs> Another reason why that room's really stupid is you can just ground pound through. Dude, I know this is probably like the second video in a row I mentioned how to get away with murder. But for the people who have watched the show, this question is directed at you. You guys think Tegan looks like Wendy <laughs> from Mario Maker? Alright, that's that's all I've got. That's where the discussion of, this, of the show ends. Just be like, yeah, I think Tegan looks like them. No, I do not. You're an idiot. I straight up dead ass think Tegan looks like Wendy. They have like the same hair and everything. Just different color. Tegan was such a badass. I said I would stop talking about it, but I'm still just thinking about it. Sorry, I'm in that post-show phase where I'm just thinking about the show a lot. Oh yeah. I saved that. I saved those. What bitch? What of it? You think Simple Flips comes here to fucking play the same level 80 times? Absolutely not. 75 attempts minimum. Oh, I'm dead. Because this thing is a goddamn menace, dude! So fast! Okay, every green pipe I see, I need to try that ASAP because I think there could be another dev path here, not just this pipe. Why the fuck is there a green pipe in the boss room? With nothing coming out of it, not seemingly impossible for me to ever enter it. Now, I did try these pipes, but what? maybe I didn't try them good enough? Every green pipe I see needs to be tried. Wherever this pipe is, it's hidden somewhere bullshit. I think there could be... I'm gonna take a guess right now. And I will be able to see if it's true. I think you jump over that wall to the left, and you get back to where the beginning of the level. I think there's a traditional dev path at that point in the level. You just have to get through a little bit first. I was also thinking this area is sus as fuck. Like, what's going on here? You know? Move, asshole! No! This level's brought me a lot of misery today. Alright, let me see the thumbnail really quick. Wow, I'm wrong. I'm wrong about these areas, though. Not the whole level. That green pipe right there. Why is it there? Is there a hidden pipe in the subworld that lets me skip all this mundane bullshit? Like, there does not seem to be any pipe I haven't tried or gone through in the main world. I think there's some bullshit happening in the subworld somewhere. I also think Dev Star near the end. If if there isn't a Dev Pi, there's a Dev Star, I think. I, I kind of want to see if I can get out whenever I'm in the subworld. I'm going to keep track this time. It should be possible to get up there, but... Seems a little bit too hard for what I... What would be a dev path? Unless it, you can hug the left wall where the spikes are and there's a hidden block or something. I don't know. Is there not a power up here? Man. I think... For the most part, it is just kind of like survival. I think those things at the top are intended to do damage. Instead of me jumping on its head. Please, 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 I'm begging you. Come on. Take this guy out, please. Yes. Get him. Get me out of here. Wait. Could I have just gone over here and waited and most... Oh my god, dude. This... I'm so stupid. But I beat it. I beat hell. I beat the world's least fun level and I'm gonna check one last time if that ocarina guy is back. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just doing, uh, just doing what's fair to the world. Hopefully just one person in the whole world sees that. They'll know not to waste their time. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it to be funny, enjoyable, good. You enjoyed it and you liked it. And then you liked it on the on the like button, probably. Please subscribe if you aren't already. I've been having a lot of fun with this kind of stuff lately. And uh, I'll see you later. Also, just a, a, a last reminder, if you want to get one of these, there's not, there's not a whole lot of time. We're running the campaign for 10 days. Uh, get one while you can. Very special, very cool. Thank you, uh, Kanye.